Hi there YouTube, or as uh, the person that suggested this video to me, hello lovely YouTuber. <laughs> uh, I'm going to talk a little bit today about a species here. This is uh, Stanhopia, and the particular species is Stanhopia tigrina. Okay, this is not quite a flowering size plant. Uh, it's one that I rescued as I did quite a few of the plants that I have here and it is recovering. You can see these are the older leaves. They're all spotted and pitted and they looks like they've, they've got quite a bit of damage on. Uh, here's some of the newer leaves which are healthy and green. It seems like it's coming back pretty well. It's just entering its more active period as are most orchids right now. The springtime signals a huge start in, in growth and sometimes flowering. Other times the flowering is, is delayed until uh, other times in the year. But starting now is when all your orchids get their energy and most, almost all of them get their new growth. I'm keeping this in a basket. As you can see, Stanhopias need some slotted type of basket or if you can keep them wet enough, mounted. Although uh, something this size, and, and like I said, this is going to get bigger. Uh, Stanhopias can get to be fairly large plants once they really take off. The leaves will get, oh, two feet tall, and the flower spikes grow straight down. They come out the bottom of the pots or basket, so it, it's advisable that you don't put them in pots because the flowers will a lot of times get trapped inside of there. What, what these guys need is pretty much, uh, they, they don't ever like to get really dried out, and during their growth period, they like quite a bit of water and fertilizer. These things turn into beasts when they're really fully grown and, and doing well. Uh, I'm growing this in a mixture of bark and chili and sphagnum moss right now. Uh, they like very, very good drainage. So they don't like to be soggy, but they do like to be watered very frequently during the growing period. Once growing period is over in, in fall, you let up a little bit, letting them almost approach dryness a, a little, but never quite dry. So that's pretty much how you take care of them. I give them light equivalent to a cattleotype and fertilizer uh, during the entire year pretty much. Although less fertilizer in, in the fall and winter months than in the spring and summer. So that's about it. Thanks for suggesting the video and I hope everybody enjoyed it.